Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Obviously, I look kind of busted because I'm about to do my makeup. If you can hear cars or things outside, it's because I'm right near a window and I can't really control the light in here because it's very dim. So this is all we've got to work with because I'm in a hotel in Florida, so this is just how it's gonna have to be. I did not bring really any eyeshadow or anything good to do my makeup because I suck. So I'm just gonna show you how I do like my basic summer routine. I guess I'll call it like my summer makeup routine. So this is actually like what I do every day when I'm doing my makeup. On a daily basis, I probably look like this, but when I'm doing like real makeup, this is what I do. And I'm gonna try to keep this video like very chill. Like I want this to be like a chill like summer vibe, like you're just hanging out. This is not like a tutorial. If you came here for some something good, I'm sorry, you're not gonna get it. <laughs> I'm literally just like doing my makeup and talking. Okay, let's begin. If I had it, I would do a little face spray like rose water, which I wanna try to make my own rose water, but I haven't done that yet. But I would do a little face spray and on my face right now, I have a little bit of serum and like a face oil, like I just pat it on. When my face is trash, I use this Becca foundation, but honestly, like my skin's not too bad. So I'm going to use this beauty counter one and this is very dirty But this is what it looks like and this is in the shade honey So this is like my tan summer shade. So I'm just gonna put this on my face I would say it's like a medium ish foundation coverage. It's very natural But I just do that I put it on my hand and I put it all over my face And by the way, I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror because I didn't even bring a mirror because I literally suck at packing well, that's actually not true. Usually I bring everything, but this time I had no patience So I just like threw random stuff in a suitcase and called it a day So honestly if my makeup looks trash, it's because I don't have a mirror I'd like to see you guys try to do this <laughs> But anyway, that's a different conversation. All right, let's begin. So I'm blending it out obviously Okay, now I'm gonna go look in the mirror over there on that wall to make sure this isn't busted So hold on. Oh, it's busted as you can see, this is not covering stuff. It's more just to have like an even skin tone. These are like some red spots and there's like a red spot right there. That's when I go in with this beauty counter concealer. And by the way, I use a lot of um, beauty counter for my face because I hate foundation in general and all of it makes my skin trash. So I try not to use like trash products on my face. And beauty counter is like clean, but it is kind of expensive and it's not very like, I mean, it's good, but it's not like full coverage. Like if I was doing someone's makeup for real, I would never use this. But um, like I use it on myself every day cause I just like it. But anyway, I use that concealer and this is the shade light blending this now. By the way, you may notice I already have my eyebrows done. That's because I do not ever want to go film a video with no eyebrows. Like without this powder, I have like no eyebrows, zero eyebrows. I don't really know what to tell you. Like God just forgot to put them on. We just have to act like I have them. <laughs> One day I'll do microblading and be out of this fiasco that I call eyebrows. But right now, like I'm not gonna lie to you. These are already done and I'm not, like I'm not apologizing. I don't care. I'm not gonna act like these are my eyebrows and you guys need to put up with it. <laughs> so don't come on here and be like, she already had makeup on her eyebrows. Yes, I did. Like, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? And if there's any spots that are still not covered, I will literally go in with my hand and like force it to go away. So like this spot, this spot came out of nowhere. It was not here yesterday and now it's just here. So we have to deal with it. So I go in and just like force it. <laughs> <laughs> to go away. These trucks are so freaking loud. Like, get a life. <laughs> I love how I said this video was gonna be chill. I'm calling that done. So this is like my natural skincare when I do makeup because I just, I can't be bothered to put on like actual foundation if I don't have to. Like, I hate it. Then I use this Beauty Bakery powder. This is translucent. I take this little Morphe brush like that go under my eyes. It's like the first thing I do. And then 
over and then I go on the chin and the stupid spot that won't go away and then my forehead and then I'm going in with everything left in the cap and just going like all over the place lightly like very lightly because you don't want to like disturb what you already put because there's like not much coverage to begin with like I'm not gonna lie uh, honestly I'm not a perfectionist with my skin if it's not flawless like everything is perfect like you can see a little redness there and there but what are you gonna do <laughs> what are you gonna do it just doesn't bother me like as long as it looks like my skin I'm fine okay so this is a random thing that I do but I have these two freckles like right there and they get a little bit covered when I put makeup on them but I think they're very cute so I go in and put them back <laughs> hold on I feel like I need to use a closer mirror for this okay you see them except this stupid I love how I said the little dots don't bother me, but they bother me. Enough messing around. Every time that I do my makeup, like face makeup, I have to fix my eyebrows, so I'm gonna do that. For my eyebrows, I use this e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I use this one on the very end. Since I have no eyebrows, like I have the hair, but it's very thin, I have to like use powder because if I use a pencil, it looks so fake so the powder is just the way to go i'm sorry but it is in my case and in this case it's eyeshadow that was like one dollar once again using my phone as a mirror so i'm literally just going in and fixing it up so it looks less spotty <laughs> Ew. It's like trash. All right. <laughs> you can tell me how trash these eyebrows are. They look they look terrible. Like what is that? Ew. What in the hell? Look at that. Why don't I have eyebrow hairs? Like there's nothing for this to stick to. Okay. I'm calling that quits. These are my eyebrows today. Like, whatever. The fronts are kind of too much for me, so I'm just gonna go like this. Great. This is random, but I feel like putting on lip gloss because my lips just feel dry. This is Sophia by Buxom. I wear this all the time. It's like a plumping lip gloss and it's minty, but it also smells like vanilla. So it's just like iconic, but I don't like it that much because the ingredients are kind of gross in it. It has BHT and just like all these preservatives and whatnot. Now we're gonna do bronzer. This is Hula by Benefits. Now what I I like to do is go in like on the cheek right here I go in with this brush and kind of like blend that out but I keep it on the top I don't go under the line that I made then I kind of like pat it so I can look a little tan too and then on the forehead I go wild I just put it everywhere honestly and then lastly, I go under my neck and jaw area. Okay, so now we're tan. So this is gonna be hard with no mirror, but I'm gonna do a little nose contour. So I use this little MAC brush that I got a really long time ago, and I'm gonna attempt to contour my nose with it. I'm gonna go like, For some reason that stopped recording, but hi. Okay, so continuing the nose contour, do that. Then we do a little line on the bottom. Then we do a line like right along like that. And then take this and just blend it out. So it's very simple. It's not like an intense contour, but it's kind of just like a little something. This is like so 2010, but I use this NARS blush that like everyone used to use. And I just put it right under my eye because I don't want it to be like too out. And it's just very like in the middle of my face. Okay, and then I do highlight and this is on the cusp by ColourPop. These are not like all my favorite products. This is literally just what I keep in my makeup bag for like quick makeup. I would love to try some new highlights. Like obviously I prefer Anastasia, but I didn't bring that. So taking the highlight here, yeah. what? Hold up. What? Okay. So 
So. What? Hi. <laughs> so if I'm using. Then I take this little brush and do it on my nose to do like a nose highlight. I basically just go in like a straight line and then a tiny, tiny dot. Cause if you make it too big, it makes your nose look big. Kind of like um, an explanation point, exclamation point. Cause you don't want to put it here. Cause this is where the nose is supposed to like bend. And if it looks a little too unnatural, you can just like pat it. Then for my eyes, I like to do this highlighting stick. This is called Stella by I thrive cosmetics in the corner of my eyes I put that and then I pat it in like so it makes you look a little more awake because I woke up at 1 p.m. today so that's great then I take the same highlight like this ColourPop one and put it over that so it's very vibrant and just light looking and then I take the same thing and put it right on the brow bone which I hate that word brow bone it just makes me uncomfortable but it's there okay great and then lastly with the highlight I take the fluffy one the fluffy brush and put it back in and I go over my lip like this Here's how I do my lips. I actually think I have pretty full lips, but when they're dry or like not done, they look a lot smaller than they are because they're not crazy pigmented in my opinion. So when I do my lips, they look a lot better. So for lip liner, I use Kylie Cosmetics. Dolce K, hi to my puppy Dolce, I miss you. I go in and like lightly line the entire lip. Like that. And bring it down. See how you can already see like what my actual lip shape is. I swear, my lips are so weird, but okay. Okay, then I go in and lightly fill it. Which, by the way, this lip liner like comes out. You have to like push it back in. So that's how I do that. <laughs> I use Twig by Beauty Counter, which is not really matte. It's kind of just like a sheer lipstick. So it looks very natural over this. And then I blend it with my finger. And sometimes I'll do lip gloss, so I guess I'll do it for this video. I like to use Peony by Beauty Counter. It's like a peachy pink sheer lip gloss. And this just adds a little more color to it. and it makes it look a little more alive. I'm not really someone that likes a super nude lip because it makes you look kind of dead. So I like to look a little on the pink side and one thing you have to do is put your finger in your mouth, I'm not even kidding, and go like this and the lipstick that would have gone on your teeth goes on your finger so you won't get it on your teeth. Throw back to my vlog a couple days or weeks ago, I don't know. For eyes, I don't really do eyeshadow anymore, which is weird. Like, I used to be crazy about eyeshadow, but I feel like once you put on eyeshadow, you look like you're trying. I like to look like I'm not trying, even though I am. But for the sake of this video, I'll show you what I do when I do eyeshadow. And it's very simple. So I use the same palette, the e.l.f. palette. I don't use primer or anything. I literally just slap it on. I take this one, the third one right there, and take this little fluffy IT Cosmetics brush and put it in, obviously. And then I go and like just put it everywhere, like in the crease 
area and then I just kind of like fluff it out. It doesn't have to be good. Like you literally just throw it on. Then I do the other side, obviously. Once I've done that, I go in and do the same color with this little pencil brush and I put it under my eyes like this and bring it out kind of like a cat eye, like that. Usually, that's it. Like, that's it. That's all I do for eyeshadow. But I guess if we want to step it up, we can take this color right here, kind of like a warm medium brown, and take that and put it on the eyelid. So I'm just gonna go in here and put it on the actual eyelid, like right there. I'm going in and blending it with this and just connecting everything together. Does it look amazing? Probably not, but you know what? It's not bad. I'm obviously gonna do the other eye, but I'm gonna take the same color that we just put here and connect it on the outer bottom part of my eye, and I'm gonna call that a wrap. <laughs> and then lastly, I'm gonna take this highlight again and put it on my finger, like just pat into it and put it on the very center of my eye just so it's a little less flat. So there's the eyeshadow. Now sometimes I do eyeliner like liquid eyeliner and sometimes I don't but I guess today we'll do it because this is a little bit more like extra. I use the Kat Von D tattoo liner. Not sure how I feel about Miss Kat but I have the eyeliner so I'm gonna use it and yeah. My camera turned off again, but I'm gonna do this eyeliner off camera to save battery and time and memory and patience. So I'll be back after I do this and then we'll talk about eyelashes, okay. All right, so eyeliner is done, it's all right. So now we're gonna do eyelashes, which is the last step. I'm gonna curl them, the top ones, and I use right now L'Oreal Telescopic Waterproof just because we will be going in the pool and beach a lot, but I don't really like L'Oreal because they test on animals. <laughs> But anyway, that's what I'm using. And then for my eyelashes, I'll show you my technique. So I'm gonna put on this mascara and curl my eyelashes. So let me just curl them now for the sake of the video. I'm gonna put this on and then when I come back, I'll show you my eyelash technique where I put on fake eyelashes and then we'll be done. So hold on a second. <laughs> So now I'm gonna do fake eyelashes and I take these little guys. I buy full, like a strip of eyelashes and then I cut it into threes, but I like to use just the N2 sections, if that makes sense. So I take them and for example, this is gonna go on like this part of my eye and I take it and okay, I'm not gonna do it cause I have to do it in a mirror unless I wanna go blind, but I take it and I put glue on it obviously. And then I go under and glue it like that and you have to be really careful because if this glue gets in your eyes like good luck Charlie like you are f it is not for someone who is not good with eyelashes, I'll tell you that. And I got this technique from Katherine Rose. If you want to look her up, she goes by Katie, but I like this technique because one, it's less uncomfortable because you don't really feel it on your skin. It's just kind of like sitting on your eyelashes. And two, since it's under your eyelashes, you don't see like the band. It just looks like extensions and it looks a lot more natural. It is more time consuming and difficult, but it is worth it. So Sometimes I'll put them on like just regularly like without makeup and just like pretend they're eyelash extensions and leave them on for a few days. So I'm gonna go put these on. Then when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like and then I will get out of your hair. We're back. Now this is the final makeup look, as you can see. And if you look, the eyelashes are like not connected to my eye. They're on my eyelash. So it just looks like natural. That's the video. <laughs> I feel like this video is kind of a mess, but whatever. So this is pretty much my everyday summer makeup routine this year. I'm not gonna lie, I don't always do the eyeliner and eyeshadow, I just do the eyelashes. But everything else is pretty spot on. Hope you guys liked it. And I have a really cool video coming and I want to tell you what it is, but I'm gonna keep it a surprise. But just know, I have a cool video coming within like a week or two. Stay tuned. And obviously other videos too, but there's like one specific video that is really cool. 
cool. Okay, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Wait, that felt fake. Bye. <laughs> this is trash.